El Paso Congresswoman Veronica Escobar reiterated her support for President Biden this afternoon and all went down at a news conference held right here in El Paso this afternoon. And her support comes as pressure mounts from some top Democrats urging the president to exit the 2024 presidential race. ABC 7's Brianna Pettis was at the news conference and joins us live with the details. Brianna? Stephanie Palm, Representative Escobar, was actually holding the news conference to talk about the more than $15 million in federal dollars funding for 15 projects in our community, but she answered questions concerning Biden's campaign. Now, this comes after ABC News reported former President Barack Obama joined the list of Democrats calling for President Biden to exit the race. Escobar, though, is not in line with that. Today, she told me she will continue to focus on helping Biden win. She is currently the co-chair of Biden's re-election campaign. She says the race may be close, but she believes this means it's time to unify around the president. Escobar hopes her colleagues will also get on board and instead speak to the, quote, dangers of another Trump presidency. She also criticized Trump's decision to introduce J.D. Vance as his running mate. There's a lot of work for us to do ahead. I'm committed to President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Just so that everyone understands the vision, the very dark vision articulated by the Trump Vance ticket uh, should instill fear in the lives uh, and in the hearts and minds of every American. And in his speech at the Republican National Convention, Vance blamed the Biden administration for inflation, lack of jobs, and he said, quote, the Democrats flooded this country with millions of illegal aliens, end quote. Stephanie. All right, Brianna, thank you.